We're gonna go over some throwing drills that are really good for all throwers, not just pitchers. Um, the reason why I like these athletic movements is because one, you're gonna build arm strength by creating a lot of energy. Okay, so your arm's gonna get trained to move faster, um, but also we're gonna be able to piece together certain movements and make it different than your normal throwing motion so your brain can start keying in on specific movements that we're working on. So a lot of these drills, there's a lot of athleticism, so it's actually gonna take you a little bit to uh, figure out the specific movements, but a lot of them, your body naturally just falls into good habits because of the energy we're putting through the system um, and we're isolating specific movements that we want during throwing. So let's get into the drills. All right, the first drill we're gonna go over is our oppo throw. So we're actually gonna throw with our uh, opposite foot forward and how this is going to be different than how a lot of people do it because we're not I'm not really focused on arm action or anything else I really want to put a lot of tension in my core okay and really focus on finishing that hip fully okay so the idea behind this is to create a lot of tension in your core almost like if I was going to you know move my finger down Okay, I can only do it so fast, but if I apply a little tension to it, it's going to move a lot more. It's going to move. It's going to move a lot faster without more energy. Okay, so the way you set this up, you get a good strong base. Hands are going to be separated. Okay, my opposite foot is going to be forward, and I'm just going to rotate from my shoulders. So I'm not going to twist. Just rotate from my shoulders, and then I'm going to throw. Okay, this is a full effort drill so you got to do it um, after you're warmed up and already played catch okay so I'm gonna turn throw and then I'm gonna finish that hip finish that shoulder all the way through okay so I'm not really focused so much on the arm as I am as I am with the full twist and then throw okay so here we're creating a lot of tension so our, our torso is going to move faster than normal okay, to produce more arm speed. Okay, our second drill is going to be double hops. So here we're really focused on compressing the knees together and keeping all that power inside of our body. Okay, so a lot of people we're going to jump, they're going to want to lead with their front knee. Okay, I want everything to come from our glute. So to start you've got to find your glute load. So you're gonna get your chin and put it right over your foot. Okay, so that's gonna create my posture. Okay, so big chest, good posture, and then I'm gonna sit to where I start feeling my glute activate. Okay, I wanna keep this feeling the whole time. When I go, I'm gonna drive with my knee going in and pushing from my glute. Okay, the other thing we need to work on is keeping this front hip slightly elevated from the back hip, okay? While keeping the relationship from front hip to front shoulder, uh, back hip, back shoulder consistent. So I don't want to tilt my hip and then shorten this distance, okay? So I wanna keep a good posture from side to side, front to back, up to down the whole time. So when I jump, I'm gonna keep my torso elongated and I'm gonna push from my glute so when we do this I want you guys to move as fast as you can while staying in the technique okay so I've created my posture my glute load front hip torso tall jump jump throw okay now it is a high effort drill because we are working on arm strength and the energy of jumping is gonna allow our arm to move faster, okay? So for this, we've gotta be really warm, okay? Found my posture, glute load, front hip, tall torso, jump, jump. Trying to keep my knees connected as much as possible, okay? And getting that ball to go slightly elevated. The last main drill that I do, we call them jump backs. And it's a variation of the double hop, but we're going to figure out our glute load while we move. Okay, So you're going to start in a lunge. So if I go sideways, you're going to start in a lunge, 
and then you're gonna jump backwards, okay? So I don't wanna think about a skater, okay? Where I'm going back and forth as fast as possible. I wanna jump to add energy into my glute load. So when I start my lunge, when I jump, I wanna find that posture, front hip, and glute load while the energy is being used, okay? So here, I'm gonna jump, land, and then go forward while keeping my knees compressed together, okay? The more we can do that, the more efficiently we're gonna be able to get into our backside. So when you jump, jump, land, back, throw. Okay, so jump, land, keep our knees compressed, and it's a high effort drill again. 